Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 on Estancia Lapacho. I told you in the next episode, which it was the last episode, I told you in this episode, we'd be finishing up some sugar cane. And uh, I think I've got it figured out so that we can do just that. So as you see here, um, our little trailer just had 70,000 in it at 14%. I went in and modified some X XML files, modified some XML files. So now our trailer holds 500,000 liters of sugarcane. Um, I did that because now our... Uh oh, they went the wrong direction. Where's the sound? Oh boy. Never going to get out of this place, am I? Oh, wait a minute. There was something. There we go. Because now our uh, sugarcane harvester holds 1.5 million liters of sugarcane. So I thought to myself, this is not a realistic let's play. Why am I keeping everything stock? So I went and figured out how to modify files myself so that I could uh, I could do some serious damage on this map. Uh, I think we can uh, modify a few more in the future and do some do some real uh, do some real work here to be qu quite honest with you. Um, let's take off and watch watch how this thing fills up now. Uh, also we probably want to get this guy out of the way. Uh, let's see how full you are. You are 100 percent full. Oh that was perfect. perfect timing. Uh, he should be able to go for quite a while, uh, but this one trailer will fill up a uh, <laughs> will, fill, will fill up a uh, a transport. Uh, what are these things called? A grain elevator. Uh, this one trailer will fill up this entire grain elevator. So when we go to sell it, one trailer load is going to be five hundred thousand liters of sugarcane to be sold, uh, which is kind of neat. And I don't want to get too outrageous, right? I don't want like flying cars and stuff. Oh, no more capacity for sugar cane. So that's already full. Oh, that's right. Those are full too. So that now these hold 500,000 liters apiece. So those three trailers can empty that harvester one time. Is that not impressive? All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to load the course back up for uh, field 29 uh, sugar cane to mill, I think, or cane to mill, whatever we called it there, cane to mill. All right. I don't want to just tell it to drive course and I'm gonna tell it to stop at last uh, last activated course there there we go he should be off and running let me get back over here on this guy we'll see how he's doing um, he is just now at 150,000, 160,000, yeah, 160,000. So, uh, modifying the files is going to make sugar cane harvesting so much easier, so much easier. Uh, so we've emptied. Let's see, we've got 500,000 liters there. There's 500,000 liters going right now to the um, uh, sugar mill. There's 21,000, 210,000, 210,000 liters. In those three trailers and we emptied two trailers in the sugar mill already so that's uh, another uh, 14 uh, 140,000 so roughly we've gotten about um, about a million liters of sugar cane out of this already so uh, we should be able to uh, just stroll right on through this field here uh, and at a 500,000 liter capacity, this is its third pass up through here. Well, two and a half passes up through here, I guess, because we were about halfway through. Uh, and it's not the entire field, because I did chop the headland off that end so that uh, it wouldn't run over the train track, which I'll probably have to do from now on. Uh, but massive, massive sugarcane harvest here. I mean, this is just incredible how big this harvest is. So he's only about 18% in. He's still got a good ways to go in this field. So I think, honestly, we're going to get to 1.5 million liters, which would put us at uh, easily at 2 million. Probably put us closer to uh, 2.5 million. Uh, but while he's doing that, we're going to jump over here. And we're going to get this guy here going again. Um, I think I had it on uh, just helper mode going this way back and forth. Because if not, they will run down in that field, uh, run down to the fence there. Uh, this is a super nice mod, by the way. Uh, I really dig the way this thing looks. I like all the graphics on it. I never really talk about how nice they look, but this thing looks fantastic. Let's see. Get him uh, lined up there. There we go. We'll just set him to harvest. Now, our 
uh, overloader trailer is sitting right down here. Let's go grab him and get him going. Also, I didn't consider this. I've got one of those trailers sitting over there uh, for, for manure. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have lots of manure. Make sure we go back in and tell this thing the HT, HTS. Yep, that one. We'll go drive course. And I don't think he's going to go straight to him. He's probably going to make a loop and then come back and stop there and wait. So that's fine too. Uh, what do we have on field? Um... Let's take this guy and let's run over here real quick. Everybody else should be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, And we'll know when the guy gets back to the uh, original, I mean to the, the sugar mill, because he's going to stop and let us know that. So, I want to run over here and see what we've got on this field, because it's either barley or something like that. I don't think we did any uh, sugar beets this time around. So, Yeah, there's almost nothing in that now. That's awesome. So changing a few files in uh, a non-realistic Let's Play, I think is fine. Uh, especially when, you know, we want to do a large amount of sugarcane just to do it. Because we can. <laughs> that's going to be good. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's barley. But it doesn't really matter what it is. No, it's uh, soybeans. That's what it is. It is soybeans. So we're, we're keeping all of our crop at the moment because we've got, we've got the money. We don't have to spend anything right away and we don't have to buy anything right away. I'm keeping all this money right now because I want to buy a ton of pigs. I just want to buy a massive amount of pigs. Um, also, I could do with buying some more cows. We, we have 50-something. Uh, 50-something cows? How many we got? 59. Oh, wow. We went up a lot. 59 cows. We could do with buying some more cows. I also installed the table, table manners mod, but I don't think I have it uh, active yet. So as soon as we get it activated, uh, we'll no longer have to clean up after our animals, which I am just perfectly fine with because well, they're a pain in the butt sometimes. Uh, especially when you get up to the amount of cows and, and pigs and sheep that we want to have. I want to have a massive amount of animals, which is something I've never done uh, in a Let's Play at all. So, uh, But yeah, if I'm going to continue on with this one, I had to do something to... Uh, make sugar cane more feasible because it was starting to drive me crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. It was starting to drive me absolutely nuts. Let's jump back over here and check on our sugar cane guy. Uh, not real sure. I think he stopped way sooner than he needed to, but... Okay, this guy did not empty this, because he did not stop at the last trigger. So we're going to have to send him back over there. We're going to send him in uh, empty combi mode, or whatever it is. Stop driver. I'm going to put you in, yeah, empty combine and offload. So combi mode is the one we want. We're going to tell it we want the um, Tektron. We're going to go drive course. So he's completely full. He should just spin around right here and uh, grab a stop sign and then head out, I think. So. I think. <laughs> Let's hope he does anyway. It looks like he's going to go up and hit that one. So, um, And he should throw the cover on automatically. When he does that, I don't know how long it's going to take this thing to empty. I tried finding the setting for uh, the overloader mode or for the emptying mode or whatever to how, how fast it empties, but I couldn't find a setting for it in the XML file. So uh, hopefully it's fast enough. Uh, let's go to speeds real quick. Let's go 26 on fields. Let's go 30 on fields. He's, he's good with that. Surely he's not going to turn us over. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nah, he's good. Oh, it started raining on us. Okay, so... Um, the helpers are, are gone now because it started raining, so we can't uh, thrash in the rain, of course. So there's no need to even bother. What I want to do right now is I want to go check out our uh, situation on different crops. We have enough of all of this stuff to get started. We've got a ton of sugar beet. And I've got everything else we need. Uh, the only thing we don't have a whole lot of 
Man, we got a ton of liquid slurry too. Uh, the only thing we don't have a whole lot of is potatoes, but with pigs, I think you can do one of the others. So we can do sugar beets or potatoes. Yes. Okay, good. So uh, corn is definitely something we're going to need. Let's see how much of that we have. Where did it go? There we go, right there. We have 11,000 liters of corn, so we're going to need to plant some corn. We do have sunflowers, but we're going to need some more corn for sure. Um... But we may stop over here. We may just catch a ride with this guy for a minute and then uh, stop over here and grab. Uh, we'll see how much they cost, but I want to buy about a, a hundred pigs or so. Uh, also, that'll give us a uh, another uh, source of manure. Keep our greenhouses full. I just thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and buy some more pigs. You know what I want to do first? No, I want to buy more sheep first. I want to buy as many sheep as possible. Oh, we left that guy sitting there, didn't we? Uh, that's not good. Leave him sitting out in the open like that. Yeah, I want to buy. I want to buy like 400 sheep just to see if our uh, productivity can sustain and actually get us uh, get us a large quantity of wool. This is the animal buying place. Am I correct? I am. Okay, so sheep are 4,000 a piece. Pigs are 3,000 a piece. That's not bad. Is that the reduced price? Am I playing on easy on this one? I think I'm playing on easy on this playthrough. Um, let's see. We have 349,000 we can buy. Uh, we can buy 87 more sheep. Let's just buy... How many do we have? Let's see how many sheep we have first. We have 32 sheep. So we need... How many more sheep do we need? We've got plenty of grass and everything for them, so no need to worry about that, I don't think. Um, if we bought 70, if we bought 68 more sheep, would that be bad? We'll see how much that's going to cost us. 68 sheep. It's going to cost us a chunk of money, but I think it's going to be worth it. Find 68 more chips. Let's head over there and check on them now. As you can see, uh, their food level is in the red because there are so many of them. Let's go check it out and we'll visit that place. Very nice. And it looks as if we have two full things of wool ready to go. And my John Deere, I believe, is back over uh, at the farm already, unless I left it here. I don't think I did. I think I took it back to the farm. So we are going to do some, need to do some cleaning up with these guys real quick and get them some food and water. Uh, because if not, they are going to be upset. With that many sheep in here, I can imagine. So our next big chunk of money, we're going to buy 50 more cows or whatever it takes to get us to a solid 100. Then after that, we will start buying pigs. So I want to get everything up to 100 first, and then we'll start, start buying the pigs after that. Okay, can I, can I get that piece? There we go. Let me spin around here. We'll grab this one little section. Then we'll dump this in there. I think that got it. It did. There we go. Now let's uh, let's grab some water, some feed. Probably do the food first since I'm already back here to this. Now I imagine. This whole trailer is about to get used. I mean, that's just my thought on it. It's about to use that entire trailer. And it's probably not even going to touch them. When you got that many animals... Uh, no, it's going to get on up there. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, we are going to have to bring something over and grab this trailer and do, uh, do another run for food. Or we might just bring a bigger trailer and take this one back with us. That might be what I do. Also, uh, water is going to cost us a ton of money um, because I don't have a river source close to here. And bringing the big 18-wheeler over here seems like a waste as well. So, uh, let's see how that did them on water. That got them pretty good. They're okay. Uh, they could use some more grass and stuff, but it's not immediate. So, we're going to hold off for a little bit, turn that guy off, and their cleanliness should go up in just a few minutes. Uh, the Tables Manners mod I will have on in the next episode. So, I'm not too awfully concerned with it. 
We do need to bring a trailer over here though to get our uh if we there's a there's a tractor right there somewhere. Right there. Not the exact one. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Never mind. Is that the warrior? Yeah, that's the duets warrior edition. Very nice. I wanna come grab our our uh Oh, that's the trailer that's full. I've got two of these short trailers somewhere. One of them is not full. How do we have $300,000 again? Oh, I bet I know. I bet this guy... Oh, there's our short trailers out there. Where'd he go? There he is. Um... I bet this guy emptied his load and we got 300,000 for that. Okay, we're going to have to change your offset just slightly there, buddy. Put it to at least seven. I think that's what I came up with. Going to have to loop around inside the harvester before it ships it out. It looks like it's not going to unload right here either. Why not? Doesn't want to unload there. Okay, I think it's because it's too close. Let me get let me get this. Aha. So it was it was too close. Okay, so uh, wherever we're at right now is probably a good spot, but I don't know where that would be. So You can see this thing empties super fast. Uh, for 1.5 million liters, though, it's still going to take it a little while to empty. I may have to go into that one and change how fast that one empties. This one emptied pretty quick. The trailer did. so. Um, but for that amount of sugar cane, we're going to have to empty it pretty quick. The good news is, though, uh, with this much sugar cane, we can make a ton of money really quick. Uh, especially if the price is up, and we have a uh, one full. Let's see, I got past it already. There we go. Uh, we have one full place uh, at the harbor. It's three hundred eighteen, but at the transport company, it's four hundred five. So um, we have one full transport, no grain elevator, and we have another one that's pretty close to being full. Oh, was that guy? F oh, he wasn't full. That's right. It's just because he holds 1.5 million liters. That's what it is. All right, we're going to tell this guy to drive course from here. And he should be good to go. Hopefully he will not try to turn back into the harvester there. He is going to for some reason, even though he is full. We'll just tell him to go this way. Go ahead and throw the cover on for him. Oh. I'm going to bring you all the way up here, and you can just do it from here. You can feel the weight of this thing, though. My goodness. There's some weight behind this trailer with 500,000 liters. Bushels, uh, kilograms, I don't I don't know what the... All I know is it's liters, is what I'm looking at, so... Alright, let's drive course from here, then. Perfect. Now, then. Now that we've got him going again... Uh, we got another 300,000 to work with. I say we do this. I say we grab a, where's our little, where's our duets tractor at? It's right here somewhere. Uh, let's just enter this one and then we'll see if we see it. I think I stopped right here somewhere, maybe. Right there. There it is. I not remember exactly where it was, but I knew it was here somewhere. Uh, we stopped right in the way of everybody. Good thing nobody is working at the moment because it is raining. I do want to grab an empty trailer, which they are setting down the road here. We don't have any right here, do we? No, we took everything back over to the field. Let's go down here and grab one of these. Uh, and we're going to buy uh, whatever amount of cows we can with this. It's probably not going to be that many. I think we can get... Uh, let's see if they're 5,000 apiece. We can get, uh, what, 50 for 100,000? No, that's not right. We can get 100 for 500,000. So we're not getting 100 cows. Uh, we'll probably get 20 more cows. That would be... That would be roughly uh, 100,000, I think. So I'm going to drop that second trailer there because we don't need it. 
Uh, since we're just picking up pallets, I'm going to go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Maybe we'll get past this rain shower here. We're going to head over to the sheep and grab our, uh, our uh, pallets of wool. Which I hope to be having a lot more of now. Once our uh, wool silo is full, or our wood, uh, or wood, our wool storage barn is full, we will take it and sell it. I don't know how much we're going to get for it, but we'll take it and sell it for sure. Uh, I don't think this is the right way. I think I need to go straight down this way. I'm just going to cut through this field. Nobody, nobody, nobody's looking. It's fine. I'm going to cut through the field. I'm going around it. It's already been harvested though, hasn't it? Maybe it's just now planted. That's probably what it is. Uh, either way, we didn't drive through the field, so nobody got hurt. No big deals. All right, we get here. We're going to put this thing in work position. We're going to tell it we are picking up pallets. There we go. We should just be able to drive up to this. And work mode. There we go. Perfect. We're going to take them back over to the other spot over here. Yeah, I definitely need to get animal table manners installed if we're going to do uh, multiple hundreds of animals, which I plan on doing. So, I mean, look at that money just skyrocketing up right there. Fantastic. It's fantastic. 470,000. So, yeah, we're going to buy we're gonna buy enough cows to get us to 100, I think. And since we're right here... Where's it at? can't tell it's dark. <laughs> can't see where I'm at. Uh, that's the biogas. If we just follow the train track over here, I think it'll take it right, take us right to it. I want to see how much sugar cane this has got in it, because I may make some trips over here myself uh, to fill this one on up. And also, I'm going to try to find the train file and up the storage capacity of all these things uh, to 500,000 liters each. So I think that would be kind of neat. Let's see, sugar cane, what do we got? We have 319,000, so yeah, uh, we can bring a truckload over here and then just truck it right on over to uh, the sugar mill afterwards. Would probably be a good option uh, to get this one filled up, and then we will make a route to Grain Elevator 1 and have him fill up Grain Elevator 1 as well. So that'll give us um, 1.5 million liters of sugarcane through all of those, but we're definitely going to have to up the capacity on the train. So what I want to do is each cart on the train is going to hold an entire... Um, the entirety of the uh, grain elevator. So grain elevator one would be cart one, grain elevator two would be cart two, so on and so forth. So I think that's probably the more uh, reasonable way to make this work since we've modified files. We can try to modify some more. Uh, I don't know where to find the files for the in games for the stuff that's already in game, but I will figure it out and I will make it happen. I'm sure you can do it though. I'm sure it's a thing. Uh, I feel like that's how we get mods to begin with, is people go in and modify files, so. Because, you know, that's what modding is, is modifying something else. So. Just a thought. Uh, take it out of work position, and we want to get it as close here as we can when we have to pull up and back in. Probably going to be the option. Going up. And our truck is slipping somewhere. I don't know what he is doing. He's probably running over something, if I had to guess. My complete and total guess there. All right, we want to tell it to unload on trailer. There we go. And we have more bales in the shed. I think we have... Uh, how many How many liters do we have? Um, total liters, 76.69. So, uh, four objects stored there. Storage capacity is 106 left. Holy moly. Okay, so we can put a lot of wool in there. But we definitely need to buy some more sheep. Let's see how they're doing. Let's see what the times 15 is doing to my uh, stuff here. Nothing. Nothing at all. They've already produced another sheep. It looks like the more animals you get, the quicker they produce too. So they're down to eight hours already. We just bought them. They may have been there anyway. Uh, we have 59 sheep, so let's go buy 41 more sheep. Looks like he's in traffic. Uh, is he back in the field? Check on him real quick to make sure. Uh, I don't see him on the road anywhere. Yep, there he is right there. Uh, okay. Looks like he doesn't like the low roof on that thing, so... 
Oh, when you click off screen, that doesn't help either. <laughs> this is course play killing me. Uh, what happened? Is that it? Is that all you had left? I don't see any more coming in here, but there's still some moving uh, into the harvester. Right here. There we go. Nope, the harvester is empty. And we do have to wait on it to stop raining. Not to get any more. So, we're just going to pull this guy over here out of the way for now. And tell him to stop. And we'll throw the cover on. There we go. And with that, we can jump over and go buy some more animals. Now, I do want to get the animal uh, table manners mod before I go too much further and go too crazy with buying all these crazy animals. So, uh, we want to buy 41 animals. That's $205,000. Confirm. There we go. Now, we should have 100 cows. And their food is going to be way down because, well... That's what happens when you buy more animals. Uh, so before we go buying a crazy amount of sheep, I want to plant uh, a fairly large field of corn so we can get that going too. Um, but it looks like we're okay for power food. Well, I mean, we only bought 41 more, so we bought less than half of what we already had. Um, yeah. Oh, stuff updated. Okay. Did we jump time that far? I don't think so. Uh, we'll have 101 here in just a minute. We need to go get uh, food uh, for the cows and stuff, so water, straw, and grass definitely need to be had. Let's find our uh, handy-dandy notebook over here. That one. Yep, that's the one we wanted. And we want to take this guy and grab some bales of grass and straw and we'll fill it up with water if we can. We may have to go grab some more water, but uh, definitely want grass and straw. And it looks like they're going to hold a bunch. If not, I can bring them back, but uh, for now I'm going to get out six of each. And I can just push them back in there if I don't need them. Grass bale, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now I'll bring them back if I don't need them, and I'm pretty sure it's going to take most of these. So, like, I hope it doesn't. I hope we don't use all of this. Because uh, if that be the case, I'm going to need more grass bills. I didn't compensate for the amount of uh, cows and sheep that I wanted to buy. Which I can use hay bales for sheep, which is nice because I can take... Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't even consider that. I can take that trailer over that's loaded down with hay bales. Hey, now. Uh, this just got awkward. I can take that trailer over there that is loaded with hay bales over to the sheep and let that live there um I would have to have some forks over there to move them around though probably not a bad idea alright let's see what two of those did that was 8,000 liters yeah this is going to be a new uh a new learning curve for me because I'm going to have to figure out all of the uh the measurements once again for cows and stuff I had it kind of an idea of what I wanted to do with it. I think now using the big water tanker for our animals is probably going to be the best bet. If not, I'm going to be running back and forth with this little guy right here, which is just fine, but at the same time, I don't want to have to do it all the time. So there's still some power food in there. We're going to have to get in there to them. Uh, we should have a ton more manure being produced as well. And our milk production should go through the roof, to be quite honest. So uh, We want to fill this guy with water. Yes. It looks like we are going to have to take our uh, our big water tanker over to the river and fill it back up. And uh, come, I need to I need to get on decorating all this over here. I think we'll do that in the next episode. Next episode, we'll clean this up over here and do some uh, some groundwork on it and get the. Oh boy, they didn't like that. Neither did I. <laughs> as soon as I hit it, they just went crazy there. Uh, so yeah, in the next episode, we'll do some groundwork over here next to the uh, liquids refillable or the liquid storage. Uh, space over here uh, and I'm pretty sure they're going to take all this water too so it's probably going to take more than one trip let me get them completely filled up here on well pretty much everything I'm going to go ahead and do the power food as well and then I'll, I'll be back with you
All right, looks like we're just about uh, just about there with our cows. We got uh, just a few more things put in place, and we'll go ahead and do some power food. We're gonna bring you guys back for that because I think I have the formula for this big one now. I think it's ten hay bales, four silage bales, and two straw bales. I think that is our correct formula, but I need to get this thing out of the way so I can clean them up because they. I mean, they're still at 72%, and there's a lot of them, so it's going to look really nasty over here, but it's not as bad as it seems. Oh, you know what? I could go ahead and empty this, I guess. Go ahead and just get rid of that there. There you go. There you go, buddies. Have that. We'll be back with some more in a second. Yeah, this is definitely... This mod right here, this pecan mod, is definitely needed uh, if you're going to do a large number of cows. Uh, if not... You need to go in and modify the original one, and I think I may try to modify this one to hold more than this. So 128,000 or something, maybe. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Let's get ridiculous with it. Um, as I do plan on buying field 15, that's the next biggest field I can see. See right here, real quick. That's the next biggest field that's super close to me. Uh, it's field 15, and plant grass in that one, and that shouldn't take long to uh, cut either. But field 23 is also pretty large. Let's visit field 15 for a second. We'll jump back to, let's see, we're right there. We'll jump back to that in a second here. Um, this is 5.66 hectare. And field 23 is 5.52. So they're pretty close to the same. This one's just longer. Um, where's another big one? Field 29 is the, I mean, the monster on the map for sure. So, maybe field 15 because it's closer and it is slightly bigger. So, it's 357,000. Shouldn't be hard to do. Uh, sell one more load of sugar cane and we're there, believe it or not. Oh, that's crazy to think of, but uh, we are. All right, let's jump out of that and go grab our telehandler and get some uh, bales put in place. Um, I will do a bit of cleaning up first. That way, that amount of grass goes back in there. I don't have to use so many of the hay bales, but I don't think it's going to matter at this point, to be quite honest. I think I think it's going to take a large number of hay bales anyway. So I put uh, six 4,000 liter bales in straw and it still didn't fill them up. And they were at about half. So uh, you can see here that on the straw they are at 38,250 or 205. And there's still a little bit left there. So I'm going to say it probably holds 40,000 or 42,000. I'm not real sure because the numbers get kind of odd. But we will try one more straw bale after we get the grass and stuff in place and get them cleaned up just to see if it'll hold one more bale. And I want to know where the maximum amount is so that I can keep it in mind uh, from now on when we're doing cleanups and stuff. So just a, just a thing to uh, keep your keep your brain wrapped around more than anything else. All that should be able to creep down the edge there. Perfect. And then if we back up right here, we'll be able to get that one. There we go. 970, that's not that much. That may not have... Uh, it looked worse than it was, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. It looked way worse than it actually was. There we go. And there's already they're already spitting it back out. So uh, We did fill the water on up, though. The water is completely full. Oh, we need our, uh, our forks. Grab the forks. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now, there is a game that has come out that I've seen people reference uh, Trials games, like Trials Fusion, Trials HD, Trials uh, Evo, Trials Frontier on mobile. I've seen people reference um, reference it. If you like this game, you would like this game kind of deal, right? That game is a procedurally generated downhill mountain bike game. Um, and I know it's not what you guys used to see it on the channel but i think i'm gonna have to try it just because i am a massive trials fan i love trials games and anything like trials i will try out for sure i've tried tried several different ones that was like uh uh off games or indies or you know stuff like that uh so uh, and they weren't quite as good so i didn't play them for very long but this game i'm not going to compare to trials because you really can't because it's a different type of game altogether all right, where did that get us to? 
Oh, that actually got us pretty close. Okay, so the next two bales may do it. We'll find out what the max is right here because it looks like straw and hay. I mean, straw and grass are going to be about the same amount. And then we need uh, we need a couple of hay bales, but we'll do uh, power food too. So if we can bring hay bales over here, we'll do that and drop them off. And then uh, we'll do the rest of it in solids. That way the, the hay is more full uh, when we start. We don't have to worry about using up all of our silage on just the hay part of it. Oh, that's not good. If we can grab that one, then grab that one. Perfect. There we go. Uh, I don't know that it's going to take both of these. It has stopped raining. Kinda. We'll give it a minute, then we'll go get everybody started again. We need to get that sugar cane running so we can buy field 15, so we can get it started planting uh, with oilseed radish. We need to get it plowed and then plant it with oilseed radish. And then uh, plant it with grass. Nope, it took one of them. So, 42,870 basically. So, we could probably get... We could get one more straw bale in there if we wanted to. If we wanted to. But I don't think we need to at the moment. So, let's go grab a hay bale. And we'll put this guy back in the... Um, the hay storage. Or the uh, bale storage, I guess. It's not hay storage. It's all different bales. And there you go. Take that. Move this guy off of the pathway there. And we're going to grab uh, four of these. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then we'll go back in and we'll grab the straw bales. We'll grab two. Thank you. And then we'll go over here. Uh, with this big trailer, we need to be doing 8,000 liters. We can store more bales here. Uh, and the, the ratio should still work out right. So... Uh, and then hay bales. We're just going to fill it up. Because we're going to need um, 10 just for this. But I'm about to drop some in if I can. Uh, that way we don't use up our the hay out of our silage. Or the silage out of our silage. Or the, uh, not silage, but uh, yeah, the silage out of it. Or hay out of this to fill this bar up uh, out of our power food. We want to try to stick with... Uh, as balanced as possible. Let's drop that down there. If we can snag both of these. That's a little thin. Go right there. We should have enough meat from both of them. Now, I don't know that it's going to take these because I don't think I've tried to put hay bales in like this. So, I mean, it might, but uh, I don't know. We'll switch time back to times five there because it is going to get start getting dark here pretty quick. And uh, I would like to finish this episode off in the daylight. It will take them like that. Okay, cool. So we need uh, two more, it looks like. So these guys take an absolute ton of hay. Uh, great demand at the harbor for sugar beet. Probably not going to sell any of the grain as we will make enough money off of our milk production that it shouldn't matter. Um, and off the sugar cane as well because, well, we have a lot of sugar cane going on, so... There we go. That bell should slide on down. Flam on the brakes kind of hard there. There we go. Get it moving back down to us. And get these guys filled up. After I dump these, I'm going to jump over and get the harvester started again. And the uh, guy running the grain over there. And we will finish that up in the next episode. Actually, we may finish that up in the next episode anyway. Uh, this episode is getting kind of long, and my Estancia Lapacho videos have been getting quite long. 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. So I want to try to get them back down to around 35-ish minutes. So then we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to do anything else. We're going to stop right here. And I will uh, I will start the ex next episode right here where we're leaving off. You see where everything is sitting. I'm not going to move anything. I will see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed. Also, be on the lookout on my channel for different games and new games coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to do some Echo stuff, but uh, after playing it for a few minutes, I realized that it's not going to be a straight Let's Play because we are playing as a group. So it's going to be more of a um, like a, a mission statement kind of thing. So I'll do a 20-ish minute video on it uh, once a week just to kind of update what's going on and what we've built and, and kind of show you things and... Uh, if we need questions answered, we'll bring Bamrack in because he, he seems to know more than uh, the other two of us that are playing. So <laughs> we'll bring him in and get him to answer questions. Uh, but either way, uh, I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
Later, everybody.